Joel Barlow was an American poet, diplomat, and politician. In politics, he supported the French Revolution and was an ardent Jeffersonian. In his own time, Barlow was known especially for the epic vision of Columbus, though modern readers may be more familiar with the hazy pudding. He also helped draft the Treaty of Tripoli in 1796, which includes the controversial and disputed phrase, the government of the United States of America is not, in any sense, founded on the Christian religion. Biography Barlow was born in Reading, Fairfield County, Connecticut. He briefly attended Dartmouth College before he graduated from Yale College in 1778, where he was also a postgraduate student for two years. In 1778, he published an anti-slavery poem entitled The Prospect of Peace. From September 1780 until the close of the Revolutionary War, he was chaplain in a Massachusetts brigade. Then, in 1783, he moved to Hartford, Connecticut. In July 1784, he established a weekly paper called American Mercury with which he was connected for a year. In 1786, he was admitted to the bar. At Hartford, he was a member of a group of young writers including Lemuel Hopkins, David Humphreys, and John Trumbull, known in American literary history as the Hartford Wits. He contributed to the Anakayad, a series of satirico-political papers and, in 1787, published a long and ambitious poem, The Vision of Columbus, which gave him a considerable literary reputation and was once much read. Barlow was an ardent patriot in the American Revolution. He was engaged in the Battle of Long Island and served as a chaplain for the 4th Massachusetts Brigade. He was a Mason and he became a good friend to Thomas Paine. Barlow got involved with the French Revolution. He stood for election in the French Assembly and accepted French citizenship, even though he had dedicated his vision of Columbus to Louis XVI. He called for the beheading of the latter. Barlow died of pneumonia in the village of Zarnawik, between Warsaw and Krakow, on December 24, 1812. Poetry in 1807, he published the Columbiad, an extended edition of his vision of Columbus. It added to his reputation in some quarters, but on the whole it was not well received has subsequently been much ridiculed. The poem for which he is now best known is his mock heroic The Hasty Pudding, first published in the New York Magazine and now a standard item in literary anthologies. Besides the writings mentioned above, he published Conspiracy of Kings, a poem addressed to the inhabitants of Europe from another quarter of the globe, view of the public debt, receipts and expenditure of the United States. The political writings of Joel Barlow were published, but much of his speculation never passed beyond his voluminous notebooks, many of which are conserved in Harvard's Houghton Library. Thought Professor Gertzman describes Barlow as a cosmopolitan, along with other founding fathers. Barlow saw that the new country of America was a model civilization that prefigured the uniting of all mankind in one religion, one language and one Newtonian harmonious whole, and the American Revolution as the opening skirmish of a world revolution on behalf of the rights of all humanity, an optimist. He saw that scientific and republican progress, along with religion and people's growing sense of humanity, would lead to the coming of the millennium. For him, American civilization was world civilization. He also looked forward to the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. Diplomacy In 1788, he went to France as the agent of the Seoto Land Company, his object being to sell lands and enlist immigrants. He seems to have been ignorant of the fraudulent character of the company, which failed disastrously in 1790. He had previously, however, induced the company of Frenchmen, who ultimately founded Gallipolis, Ohio, to emigrate to America. In Paris, he became a liberal in religion and an advanced Republican in politics. He helped Thomas Paine publish the first part of The Age of Reason while Paine was in prison during the Reign of Terror. He remained abroad for several years, spending much of his time in London, was a member of the London Society for Constitutional Information, published various radical essays, 
including a volume entitled Advice to the Privileged Orders, which was prescribed by the British government and was made a citizen of France in 1792. He was American consul at Algiers in 1795-1797. He used State Department funds for bribes and ransoms to free over 100 American merchant sailors held by pirates. He negotiated treaties with the Barbary states of Algiers, Tripoli, and Tunis to avert future seizures of American ships. He returned to America in 1805 and lived at his home, Calorama, in what is now Washington, D.C. In 1811, he became American minister plenipotentiary to France, charged with negotiating a commercial treaty with Napoleon and securing the restitution of confiscated American property or indemnity. He was summoned for an interview with Napoleon at Wilna but failed to see the emperor there. He was caught up in the famous retreat of the French army, and, overcome by exposure, he died at the Polish village of Arnawik. Barlow was painted by Robert Fulton and John Vanderlyn. Legacy Barlow, Ohio is named in his honor. He was one of the contributing editors of the first agricultural magazine in America, the Agricultural Museum. Joel Barlow High School in Reading, Connecticut, is named for him.